congratulations on the show. You have 10 episodes are available on Netflix now, another 10 in January. Yep. You, you run a weed dispensary on this show. Yeah. Now, you don't need, you don't need to smoke marijuana to enjoy this show, but would you, do you think it would help? That's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, all I can tell you is that uh, when I read the scripts, I'm stoned. Okay. Um, and um, I just wish I had a seatbelt in bed. Oh, you laugh so hard? I laugh so hard, <laughs> I'm afraid to get up. Yeah. <laughs> that is, I feel like you're living the actor's dream of just lying in bed, stoned, reading a script. That is... <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? You, things have broken right for you. Yeah, that is Yeah, they perfect. really have, and it's research. Yeah. You're actually working when you're doing I, I that. I really am. It's fantastic. That's so exciting. Yeah. What do you now? What? But you smoke a lot of the show. But obviously, that's not uh, marijuana. What are you smoking there? No, no, no. I, I refuse to smoke the joints they pack on the show because it's uh, this horrendous mix of some kind of herbal stuff that they yeah. they have to sit there and cram it into those you know those those things. Those, yeah, that's no good. And then things come out in your mouth. And so I said, I'm just gonna do a vape. Okay. Oh, so you're vaping. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not vaping real stuff. I'm vaping yeah. like apricot things. Oh, that's or nice. Egg, you know, but I never inhale. Oh, that's good. You wait till you're home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about now uh, on, in the dispensary? There are all the things, you know, this is a fictional dispensary, but all the things they sell at real dispensaries, yeah. including edibles. Have you in your life uh, experienced edibles? When I'm desperate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sure. Yeah, but the thing about edibles is you really want it to kick in. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just sort of like a stealth bomber. Yeah. You know, it'll kick in maybe four or five hours later and you're never sure when. Yeah. It's almost like your friend who was supposed to bring weed in his five hours late. Because <laughs> you just, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> the other problem I have, <laughs> my problem with edibles is okay. I also like... Uh, what the edible is. So sometimes I, I, I have one time had a problem where I just also like gummy bears. Oh yeah, okay, so I can't then, stand. But I ate too many gummy bears. How for, many? Well, I mean four. <laughs> but if they're edibles, that's not, that's too many. Yeah, well sometimes I just want chocolate. Uh huh. And that's the only thing I have there because I don't want to eat chocolate, really. I don't go buy chocolate. Yeah. But if I'm at Dr. Dina's, who is our cannabis consultant, uh -huh. she has chocolate, you know, like chocolate bars. Yeah. And I just sometimes on a Sunday, I get desperate. Yeah. And I'll have to have, you know, a corner of that. And it's, it's, it's deadly. It's deadly. <laughs> it's also deadly and problematic because you, uh, you know, you eat a little, you get stoned, and then you want more chocolate. Oh, I never thought about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That um, explains why there's none left in the book. <laughs>